back in the forest in the jungles of Ghana again. This time on a different missing. So let's see what we end up this time. Going down to a canoe down by the riverside. Let's put it here. All right. Because that place and this place is slippery. Slippery, yeah. It okay. looks like a situation. Um, we are at the riverside mm -hmm. and uh, we are about to do the canoe safari. These are the three canoes. Uh, a canoe can take about uh, six people in a canoe. Mm -hmm. And uh, we used to have two paddlers, one in front and one at the back. The one at the back makes sure the canoe moves and he controls the canoe or the boat. But uh, the one in front makes sure the canoe moves. Now in China, I assume you. China. Okay. And uh, there are going to be two paddlers with us here. And I'm going to be the guy to explain everything. All right. The river flows that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, the river started from Wa, Upper West region. And it flows all the way to the Burkina uh, River, the White Volta. It, it linked up with the White Volta. Okay. When you're going to Tamale, there is a bridge that you cross and the town is called Yape. And that bridge, the river that goes, is what we call the White Volta. White Volta. We have the White Volta and we have the Black Volta. <laughs> okay. So this river joins the uh, White Volta. Understood. And the reason why you are seeing the uh, water, the water looks milk foam. Oh, it does look milky. Look like some <laughs> cocoa. Yeah, it's because some few days ago we have a rain and it washed it down. And it washed it down. It then that when it's going to stay, it, it's clean and you can see under. You can see the uh, uh, the trees falling. Oh, you can okay. see uh, fish, fish, crocodiles. Oh, crocodiles. Yeah, we have a lot of crocodiles. Oh. But hey, it's still safe. Oh, yeah. Crocodiles here are not like crocodiles and in other African countries. Like when they see people, they are trying to attack. Mm -hmm. Here, the people in the village use this river to learn how to swim. When they are swimming, you don't see crocodile attacking them. When we are on the boat, you don't see crocodile attacking people. We started a canoe safari since 2004. And we've never experienced sinking capsizing or crocodile attacking attack. people no okay. we want to keep that yeah. well, you know it's always a first time or something. Yeah. yeah yeah it's always first time but yeah. we prayed they wouldn't be a first yes time. i'm praying too yeah. i know uh, It's just called a canoe safari. Yes. All right. Canoe safari or canoe. Paddlers are going against the, the river. They're doing a good job. Yeah. In some part of the rainy season, the water level is up to the trees. Oh, it's that up to the where, trees? Yeah, that is where it is very strong. Is this salt water or fresh water? It's not salt water. Fresh water? Yeah. 
I was wondering if it was mangrove, but it's not mangrove. Mangrove is only salt water. Yeah. And we are already in Moni National Park. So you cannot fish in here. Mm. If you see people fishing in or putting nets, then... Uh, They're breaking the law. Yeah. And when they see them, then they have to arrest them. Oh. Yeah. You have to sneak in or hide yourself. So the crocodiles are in this water? Yeah, a lot. A lot of crocodiles? Yeah. Crocodile, python. Hmm. Like we have the... Uh, the blue-breasted kingfisher, sometimes we normally see it during the canoe safari. We have the red-throated bee eater, the violet toroko, okay. the giant kingfisher, okay. the malachite kingfisher, red-throated bee eater, and uh, a lot, and a dove as well. Oh, doves too? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes when we do canoes, these are some of the... Uh, some of the birds and uh, also some lizards. Now some lizards too. So you got crocodiles, pythons, lizards, yeah, snakes. Yeah, and monkeys also. And monkeys sometimes. too. They yeah. drop down out the tree and get you and stuff like that. Is it <laughs> fallen tree right here? Definitely a lot of. Definitely a lot of bugs. I got my boots nice and dirty. Oh, 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 rocking a little bit, rocking a little bit now. Yeah, get a little rocky here. <laughs> it's a little rocky there. This is it. It's right here on the edge. We got two I think I'm weighing it down. I'm the problem. Hey, you safe. I'm, I'm glad. People, people can come and do the canoe. Well, I safe. think I want to bring a group of young people on this trip. Oh, okay. I think they need to have this kind of experience. Yeah, yeah because... How about this? Not just young people, but adults and everybody. You know, stepping outside of their comfort zone and, and getting away from yeah. the same old, same old. Because a lot of people just do the same old, same old. So, yeah. so we're on a canoe safari right now. We're just yeah. having a chance to... I mean, the waters are really tranquil. And just very peaceful out here. And I guess this is just a part of life. Or, or a part of the world you typically don't get a chance to see because we're, yeah, tell us that we shouldn't see it. So it's like, but again, it's really peaceful. And um, yeah, it's just another one of these experiences and, and something else that Ghana has to offer that, you know, just a lot of people are not aware of. And I think that that's a really cool thing to be a part of something like this. Those paddles will beat him away if he comes too close. <laughs> you have a gun by chance? A gun? You got a gun on you? Oh, you see the bird? The what? The, the, the birds. Oh, the, the I thought you said the uh, bee eater. Oh, they eat bees. Yeah. The bee eater birds. So it's called red throated bee eater. Ah, uh, so that must mean bees all around. Yeah. It's just going to be eating them. Yeah. Okay. What was that? Snake? What is it? Fish. Oh. Ha, ha. A jump did it. <laughs> Don't want a crocodile. Yeah. Here we are. She walk in. She walk out. Never seen anything this so tough, baby. You got that love. Come and get you back. Crucial. Think I want you. You got the love. You got the love. Show the beauty cooking in my book. Cause it's just.
Love is good. All right, look like we're really about to go into something right here. Careful yep, 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 I see it. All right. See how they navigate this right here. Now watch this right here. And this is coming around. This is coming around. Move that out the way. All right. A little bit of everything out here. It's amazing how I'm in the same country, but it's so very different, different yeah. from the South, down by Accra and Cape Coast, Coast and yeah. and but here in the North, it's like it's a, it's like a different country. I mean, just the coconuts are different, the the vibe is different, right. the the terrain is different. It's just yeah. a different. I mean, that's the part that, I, that that's what I love about Africa because it is so diverse. Anywhere you go, so, you can find something different. different yeah. But again, in America, they tell us it's one big place and everything is the same. And then you come here and you're like, y'all been lying to us. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's real like that. I mean, it's, and they, and they make it to where we don't even want to explore it. Yeah. We don't even think to come here and do something like this. It's like, go to, you know, Mexico or Mexico. something. Or, 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 you know, go. South America. Yeah, well, South America's cool too now. I've been down there. It's, it's South America is, Brazil, I've been to Brazil. It's nice. But, some people are telling something about Brazil that they have bad boys. They got bad boys everywhere. Yeah, but Brazil is Everywhere. They got them everywhere. They got them in Africa. They got them yeah. everywhere. They got bad boys. <laughs> I'm not gonna call out any countries. <laughs> they got bad boys in America. Let me, let me let me let me tell you, they they got bad boys in America. They got wow. some folks in America you don't wanna be near. Yeah. Wow. So I mean I mean down in South America is you know what? South America has is almost it's almost like uh, a little Africa, I meaning because there's so many African, African people of African descent. Yeah, yeah. Like in Brazil, mm -hmm. it's like almost 100 million. Wow. It's almost 100 million Afro-Brazilians. Wow. So if you and I were to go okay. there, there are people who look just like me and you. Oh, okay. In Brazil. And they come from here. Yeah, they come from Africa. So they come from Benin and Togo, Togo. and Ghana and... Yeah. and uh, Angola, Angola's big, and of course Nigeria and Gabon, and Gabon, yeah. so you, when I, I I went there and I saw them, and I, I was like, wait a minute, wow, something happened here. So, <laughs> but but again, that's what they say. But you but you know what they say? They tell us that they're bad boys in Africa. <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so just like they just like you said, they're bad boys <laughs> in South America. Yeah. <laughs> they tell us they're bad boys in Africa. Yeah. Now, I will tell you they're bad boys everywhere. They're bad boys in America. Yeah. There's some folks in America Let's you don't want to be around. And, uh, and, and, and you know, there are parts of South America, just like the parts of Central America and Mexico. And, oh, yeah. But then there are parts of <laughs> Africa, Africa. That, that have some bad boys. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. This is uh, the vines. This reminds me of, uh, this reminds me of uh, parts of America. Mm. Yeah, down in the country, like South Carolina. Mm. It reminds me of the... Have you been to uh, Alaska before? No, never been to Alaska. Yeah. That's on the list. I got to get through Africa, though. Okay. And then, I, then I get over to Alaska. Then I used to want to do all 50 states, mm. and then I woke up. And I said, wait a minute, before I do all 50 states... Is, oh, I thought that was a crocodile over there. I said, before I do all 50 states, I said, I'm going to come tackle some of these African countries. I might not... I, my, my goal is to get to all uh, 54. Wow. Yeah, that's my goal to get to all. Once I do all 54 African countries, mm. then I'll start looking at going and doing. You have you know, your own family? Do I? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, How my, many kids? I have four. Four kids. Yeah, probably about your age. How old are you? Uh, I'm 34. Okay, no, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. My oldest is 27. My youngest is 17. Oh wow. Yeah. So that's that's how. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. So they 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 uh. They're grown. I'm trying to get them to travel and and um, uh, maybe probably the first one. Well, the first one has. The first one's been here. I mean, no, I'm sorry. The the second one oh, okay. has been here. My son Eric. He's been uh, here, and then uh, my wife came over. Yeah. And so she's been to Ghana. So now we're working on my daughter, who's mm -hmm. a 27 year old, and then 
my oh all right now uh then my <laughs> I'm like wait a minute uh then my my son who's about to turn 20 mm -hmm. and then my younger son who's about to turn 18 so we're gonna okay. get them their passports and get them situated and bring them over so they can see too and then uh get them their citizenship in sierra leone mm -hmm. so that's that's the goal Roger. yeah so two boys two girls i oh, know three boys one girl oh okay yeah. the girl is the youngest right? no she's the oldest 27 years. She's the oldest. Yep. Grown woman. I was there when all of them came into the world, took their first breath. Yep.